It must inspect whether the working surface of parts is damaged or cleaned up before assembly of diesel engine. It should be guaranteed by adopting various ways that parts are not knocked during assembly process. 2. Parts subject to heat and cooling assembly shall be installed completely before assembly. 3. Parts shall be assembled under strict clean conditions. 4. Tightening torque and sequence of main bolts and nuts shall be guaranteed. Those not specified with tightening torque shall be tightened up according to the scope in attached table. Those not specified with tightening sequence shall be tightened up from middle to two sides or by a crossed way. 5. Sealing places and anti-loose places of diesel engine shall be applied with glue as specified. Places where sealing and anti-loose glue are applied shall be removed of anti-rust oil, etc., and meet requirements for gluing. After application, the extruded glue must be removed. 6. The assembled parts shall be filled with lubricating oil or lubricating grease as specified. The surface of kinetic friction pair parts shall be applied with a certain amount of lubricating oil where surface of bearing bush type parts shall be applied with more lubricating oil. 7. Kinetic pairs shall rotate flexibly with no stuck phenomenon. 8. Pipelines shall be clean and smooth, and small correction is allowed during installation. But they shall not be knocked, and shall be free from dent, wrinkle, flattening, or crack, etc. 9. External parts shall be assembled in order, and screw-on hose clamp shall be at horizontal or vertical position. The adjacent ones shall be kept consistent. Bowl cap. Clean the engine body, especially clean oil duct and water duct with compressed air and clean surfaces of the engine body. Engine oil nozzle. Knock locating pin into engine oil nozzle component, sheath the copper gasket with the hollow bolt, and tighten engine oil nozzle component on auxiliary oil duct of the engine body. Tightening torque of engine oil nozzle component 30 to 40 Newton meter. Camshaft. Apply engine oil in shaft hole of camshaft. Clean the camshaft and install it into the engine body and apply clean oil engine on journals before fully installing. The camshaft thrust plate is installed at cam bearing at front end of the engine body with two bolts applied with 242 thread glue. Axial clearance of camshaft is 0.1 to 0.4 millimeter. There is no stuck phenomenon by rotating the camshaft with hands. Tightening torque of flange bolt 32 to 36 Newton meter. Main bearing. Wipe up seven main bearing holes with cloth. Install main bearing. Apply clean engine oil on round face of bearing. It needs to be noted that upper and lower bearings shall not be installed by mistake. The bearing with oil groove and oil hole is upper bearing. Crankshaft. Wipe up crankshaft clean with cloth, especially clean crankshaft oil duct with compressed air, and knock six oil duct plugs and knock an opening around the hole by flat chisel for security purpose. Install crankshaft into upper engine body and apply clean engine oil on main bearing journal of crankshaft. Upper thrust washers. The upper thrust washers are applied with grease and installed above the second main bearing seat. It needs to be noted that oil groove is outwards. The engine oil duct casing is sheathed with O-shaped rubber seal ring and installed into oil duct hole at the second and third bearing. Engine body. 
Remove burr on upper engine body mating face by oil stone and wipe it clean with cloth. Apply appropriate 510 plane sealant on upper and lower mating faces of the engine body evenly. Lower thrust washers. The lower thrust washers are applied with grease and installed below the second main bearing seat. It needs to be noted that oil groove is outwards. Crank case. Close the lower engine body and upper engine body and knock three locating pins after flattening and evenly knock in there is openings around pinhole with chisel for security purpose. Rear oil seal. Apply clean engine oil on rear journal of crankshaft and install the rear oil seal. Main bearing bolt. Install 14 main bearing bolts dipped with engine oil into main bearing screw hole and screw up them from middle to two sides in two times respectively. Tightening torque is 80 newton meter for the first time, 250 newton meter for the second time. Crankshaft shall rotate flexibly with hands with no stuck phenomenon. Axial clearance of crankshaft shall be 0.102 to 0.305 millimeter through inspection. Install 27 crank case bolts and screw up them. Tightening torque. Torque scope 22 to 29 newton meter. Safety valve in front of oil cooler. Overturn the engine body by 180 degrees to make its upper plane upwards. Install safety valve, bypass valve of oil cooler and fasten it. Cylinder liner. Inspect upper seam allowance of cylinder bore. Remove burrs. Wipe up cylinder bore and upper seam allowance clean with cloth. Inspect whether there is crack in cylinder liner and apply a thin layer of molybdenum disulfide powder on cylinder bore and outer wall of cylinder liner. After putting cylinder liner into the cylinder bore and placing it correctly, press it into engine body with less effort by hands or special tool stably and slowly, not making it fall into engine body freely. After pressing the cylinder liner, zero the dial indicator and inspect whether the cylinder liner is 0.05 to 0.10 millimeter higher than the upper plane of the engine body. Piston and connecting rod. Push the piston pin through the piston and the connecting rod, ensuring that the stop is reached. Lock it with piston pin circlips. The connecting rod can swing flexibly in the piston and the oblique incision at the big end of connecting rod is back onto nozzle escaping gap of piston skirt. Attention! Weight difference among six piston connecting rods and piston group at the same diesel engine shall not be more than 39 grams and weight grouping mark shall be consistent. The side surface of the end of the oblique incision at the big end of connecting rod away from the small end of connecting rod is marked with weight grouping mark in capital English letters. Piston Ring During installation of piston ring, the third oil ring lining ring closing mouth shall be staggered with oil ring opening by 180 degrees. The internal incision surface of the first air ring Namely, the surface with fitting mark shall be upwards and the opening deviates 30 degrees away from piston pin access. 
Openings of three piston rings are staggered mutually by 120 degrees. It shall be remembered that the fitting mark of the first air ring, marked with CCIP, and the second air ring, marked with TOP, shall be upwards. Connecting Rod Bearing Wipe up the big end of connecting rod and big end cap clean and install big end cap and connecting rod bearing. It shall be noted that upper bearing and lower bearing shall not be installed by mistake. The one with dark color is the upper bearing and the one with light color is the lower bearing. Install piston and connecting rod assembly into crankcase. The engine body rotates by 90 degree. Apply clean engine oil, wipe up cylinder liner clean, and rotate crankshaft to the corresponding position. Apply clean engine oil on friction surfaces, such as journal of crankshaft connecting rod, piston pin, rings and piston skirt, and install piston and connecting rod set into cylinder liner by special tools. Attention! The oblique incision at the big end of connecting rod is towards the side where oil cooler is installed. Install the big end cap according to the consistent pair processing number. They shall not be exchanged or adjusted in direction. Connecting rod bolt. Screw in connecting rod bolts dipped with engine oil and tight them in two times. 120 Newton meter for the first time. For the second time, rotate by 90 degrees and torque after tightening shall be within 170 to 250 Newton meter. It shall be noted that connecting rod bolt is allowed to be used once only. Check whether the clearance between the big end and connecting rod journal of crankshaft for each cylinder is within 0.15 to 0.35 milliliter and crankshaft shall rotate with no stuck phenomenon. Oil Pump The engine body rotates by 90 degrees. Clean and wipe up the mating faces between the oil pump and front end of the engine body and apply grease on sealing gasket of oil pump and paste it at a correct position at front end face of engine body. Note, the gasket of the oil pump shall not be deviation. Install sub-assembled oil pump at the engine and insert idler gear center positioning shaft of oil pump and then screw up two oil pump bolts by 50 Newton meter. Pull out idler gear center positioning shaft of the oil pump. Rubber seal ring for backwater hole. Polish rear end face of gear chamber and front end face of engine body by oil stone. Remove burrs, wash mating face and wipe it up clean with white cloth. Evenly apply appropriate 510 plane sealant on two junction surfaces. Install rubber seal ring in border slot of inlet port of engine body cooler and thinly apply 510 plain sealant on it to prevent falling and make sure it is flat. Install rubber seal ring in the backwater hole of engine body pump and apply a few 510 plain sealant on it to prevent falling and make sure it is put flat. Gear Chamber Attention! The surface marked with V of intermediate gear is outwards. An intermediate gear, intermediate gear shaft and gasket and other parts are taken to assemble the gear chamber. And the surface with chamfer of washer shall be towards the gear. 
Intermediate gear shaft shall be applied with lubricating oil before assembly. If intermediate gear shaft has been applied with lubricating oil conforming to requirements, it may not be applied with lubricating oil again before assembly. Place intermediate gear into timing gear chamber and hang gear chamber on the engine body. The oil pump idler gear is installed between oil pump gear and crankshaft gear with the convex side inwards. Rotate oil pump gear to make idler gear hole align with shaft hole of the engine body and install O-ring on idler shaft and slightly knock it into the engine body. Install intermediate gear shaft to the intermediate gear from exterior to interior. Note that the idler shaft has direction and the scribed line on it is towards fuel injection pump and slightly knock gear into shaft hole of the engine body. Screw in four fixed bolts and fasten them after confirming the mark on cover plate of intermediate gear shaft aligns with the mark on the intermediate idler shaft. Tighten intermediate gear shaft bolts. Pre-tighten bolts by 60 plus or minus 5 newton meter and then rotate by 90 degrees plus or minus 5 degrees with a torque of 100 to 125 newton meter. If bolts are extremely poor, they shall be replaced. Confirm the intermediate gear shaft bolts by torque wrench with the retightening torque of 105 newton meter. Seal intermediate gear shaft bolts by paint and make mutual inspection paint mark at scribe line of gear shaft baffle. Sense clearance between intermediate gear and timing gear with hands. Clearance is 0.15 to 0.33 millimeter. Screw up bolts for engine oil pump idler shaft. Tighten bolts by 60 plus 5 newton meter torque. Screw up fastening bolts of gear chamber. Screw up fixed bolts of gear chamber according to the sequence of 1 to 10 indicated in the picture and the plug at position 11 apply 242 glue on thread. Torque range of bolts at position 1 to 10 is 44 newton meter to 58 newton meter. Tighten fixed bolts of gear chamber at position 1 through 10 again by 56 newton meter with torque wrench and tighten plug at position 11 again by 40 newton meter. Wipe up glue overflowing from junction surface of the gear chamber. Air compressor. The engine body rotates by 90 degrees. Clean junction surface of gear chamber and air compressor with cleaning agent and wipe up it clean with white cloth. Polish burrs with oil stone and wipe up two junction surfaces clean and evenly apply 510 plain sealant on junction surface of gear chamber. Pre-assemble air compressor on gear chamber and pre-screw up two bolts at upper end of air compressor. Take 7 bolts of M8 by 30 and apply 242 thread glue on their thread. Pre-assemble them at 7 screw holes in gear chamber. Tighten 7 bolts at end of upper in gear chamber based on diagonal order and seal each bolt with paint. Connect water pipe with water pipe connector. Wipe up 510 plain sealant overflowing from junction surface with white cloth. Flywheel housing. Install O-ring in auxiliary oil duct hole at rear end face of the engine body, which may be applied with a few lithium-based grease. 
lift up flywheel housing and make locating pinhole of flywheel housing align with locating pin of engine body and install flywheel housing on the engine body. Screw up it by 13 flywheel housing bolts of M12 by 60 dipped with engine oil evenly by a diagonal way in two times. For the first time, adopt 40 newton meter and for the second time, rotate by 120 degrees and torque after tightening shall be within 110 to 140 newton meter. Flywheel Wipe up flywheel bearing hole clean and inspect whether there is foreign matter in the bearing hole. Install snap ring. Install bearing by knocking and install it into bearing retainer. Knock 6305 flywheel bearing into its hole from the side where flywheel and crankshaft joins by wrapper. Screw in two studs of M10 by 90 in flywheel ring gear and install the ring gear on flywheel. Lift up flywheel to make locating pinhole of flywheel align with locating pin on crankshaft and install flywheel on crankshaft. Screw in nine flywheel bolts dipped with engine oil. Place process stop pin in the hole below flywheel housing and then screw up flywheel bolts by a diagonal way as required by three times. For the first time, adopt 60 newton meter. For the second time, rotate by 90 degrees. For the third time, rotate by 90 degrees. And torque after tightening shall be within 230 to 280 newton meter. Camshaft gear. Rotate flywheel and make piston of the first and sixth cylinder at top dead center. At this time, the flywheel shall be at zero position, namely, it shall be at OT mark of flywheel by looking down from scribed line in inspection hole of flywheel housing. Knock in locating pin on camshaft. Rotate camshaft to make locating pinhole on camshaft gear align with locating pin on camshaft. Install camshaft gear and let scribed line on camshaft gear fall within two OT timing scribed line mark on gear chamber. At this time, the engine is under the condition that the first cylinder works and secure it with four camshaft gear bolts of M8 by 20, 10.9 grade, applied with 271 thread glue by tightening torque of 32 Newton meter. Correct installation position shall be that scribed line on camshaft gear falls within two marker lines on gear chamber. Inspect whether inner gears have any problem. Front oil seal. Clean mating face between front oil seal seat and gear chamber and wipe up it with cloth. Inspect whether front oil seal gasket is intact with no damage. Install front oil seal into the front end of crankshaft by special tools. Note that oil hole is downwards and front oil seal has wide and narrow sides and take off special tools. Screw in six bolts pre-applied with glue to fix front oil seal on gear chamber and screw up bolts by a diagonal way with tightening torque of 8 to 12 newton meter. Gear chamber Clean junction surface of gear chamber and camshaft cover plate and wipe up with cloth. Inspect whether camshaft cover plate gasket is intact with no damage and install it into front end of gear chamber. During installation of camshaft cover plate, screw in six studs of M8 and two hexagon socket bolts 
and screw up them by a diagonal way with tightening torque of 50 newton meter. Clean junction surface of gear chamber and intermediate gear chamber cover plate and wipe up with cloth. Inspect whether O-ring of cover plate is intact with no damage. Note that seal ring cannot be reused and install it into the cover plate. Install intermediate gear chamber cover plate. Screw in three bolts of M8 applied with 271 thread glue and secure such bolts with tightening torque of 22 to 29 newton meter. Clean junction surface of gear chamber and air compressor cover plate and wipe up with cloth. Inspect whether gear cover plate gasket of air compressor is intact with no damage and install it at front end of gear chamber. Note that it aligns with the hole position. Install gear cover plate of air compressor and note that it aligns with the hole position and screw in two fixed bolts of M10 applied with 271 thread glue and four fixed bolts of M8 and secure them according to sequence. Oil Pan Rotate the engine body by 180 degrees to make the bottom surface upwards. Wipe up lower plane of engine body and install rubber gasket on oil pan. Install oil pan at lower plane of engine body and secure the oil pan with 12 inserts and bolts. Clean drain plug and magnetic cylinder in it and securely install drain plug. Tightening torque of magnetic drain bolt for oil pan 40 to 45 newton meter. Tightening torque of press block bolt for oil pan, 40 newton meter. Subassembly of cylinder head. Rotate the engine body by 180 degrees to make the oil pan downwards. Clean cylinder head and blow it clean with compressed air and apply molybdenum disulfide grease on intake and exhaust valve stem evenly and install it from bottom plane of cylinder head, noting that the large one is intact valve and the small one is exhaust valve. Place cylinder head flatly with the bottom plane downwards and install valve spring bottom seat, valve oil seal, internal and external spring, and valve spring upper seat in order. Press down internal and external spring of valve by special tools and install valve collet between valve spring upper seat and air valve stem, then slowly release such springs and inspect whether valve collet is installed in place. Cylinder head. Clean 12 tappets and blow internal oil hole with compressed air to ensure it is smooth and apply clean engine oil on surface and then install them at tappet holes of the engine body in turns. Wipe up the upper plane of the engine body and upper surface of piston with cloth. Knock in six locating pins for cylinder head and six elastic locating pins and install six cylinder gaskets after they are inspected to be intact. Clean the bottom plane of six assembled cylinder head assemblies and install them in order and knock in those that are not installed in place with copper hammer and install pressing block and clamping block into auxiliary bolts of cylinder head. Cylinder head bolt. After applying a few engine oil on the thread of 21 auxiliary nuts of cylinder head and 24 king bolts of cylinder head, and screwing in them by 30 newton meter, 
the tightening sequence of kind bolts and auxiliary nuts of cylinder head is as shown in the figure, and tightening procedure is as follows. 1. Screw up king bolt by 200 newton meter according to the sequence as shown in the figure. 2. Screw up auxiliary nuts by 100 newton meter according to the sequence as shown in the figure. 3. Rotate king bolts by 90 degrees according to the sequence as shown in the figure. 4. Rotate auxiliary nuts by 90 degrees according to the sequence as shown in the figure. 5. Rotate king bolts by 90 degrees according to the sequence as shown in the figure. 6. Rotate auxiliary nuts by 90 degrees according to the sequence as shown in the figure. Note 1. After screwing up them, torque of king bolt is required to be within 240 to 360 newton meter and torque of auxiliary nut is required to be within 120 to 160 newton meter. 2. It is prohibited to remove cylinder head or loosen bolts of cylinder head when the diesel engine is under hot state so as to prevent cylinder head from deformation. Subassembly of Rocker Arm Screw adjusting screws and nuts into rocker arm of intake valve and exhaust valve respectively. About three threads are reserved at two ends of adjusting screws. Inspect whether oil duct hole is smooth and install rocker arm assembly of intake and exhaust valves at two sides of rocker arm shaft. Attention! Rocker arm shall be able to rotate freely after installation. Install two fastening bolts on rocker arm bracket. Rocker arm. Clean valve push rods. Inspect whether oil hole is smooth and put them into push rod room in order. Put valve caps on valve spring retainers in order and press them in place. Put rocker arm assembly of cylinders in order and pre-screw fastening bolts of rocker arm bracket. Knock rocker arm screws with appropriate force by copper hammer and make rocker arm screws fall into valve push rod groove in an intact way. Screw up fastening bolts of rocker arm bracket. Tightening torque of fastening bolts of rocker arm bracket 100 newton meter. Valve clearance. Rotate flywheel anti-clockwise to make first and sixth cylinder at top dead center. Observe whether intact and exhaust valve stems of first cylinder goes up and down. Set scribed line of flywheel to align with scribed line of flywheel housing. It indicates that six cylinder works. Adjust valve clearance from gear chamber end according to the sequence of 4, 5, 8, 9, 11, 12, namely exhaust valve clearance of second cylinder intact valve clearance of third cylinder, exhaust valve clearance of fourth cylinder, intake valve clearance of fifth cylinder, intake and exhaust valve clearance of sixth cylinder. Rotate flywheel by 360 degrees anti-clockwise. Observe whether intake and exhaust valve of sixth cylinder are going up and down, and first cylinder is at work stroke and repeat step 1 and 2. Adjust air valve clearance in order according to the sequence of 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 10. Namely, intake and exhaust valve clearance of first cylinder, intake valve clearance of second cylinder, exhaust valve clearance of third cylinder, intake valve clearance of fourth cylinder, and exhaust valve clearance of fifth cylinder. Intake valve clearance 0.3 plus or minus 0.05 millimeter. 
exhaust valve clearance 0.4 plus or minus 0.05 millimeter. Valve clearance adjustment method. Adjust screws by 5 millimeter Allen key and adjust nuts by ring spanner. Insert corresponding specification of filler gauge at the contact position of rocker arm and valve cap and adjust screws and nuts at the same time. Stop operation when adjusting of screw or filler gauge moves with little resistance. Hold screw in place and tighten the adjusting nut. Slowly draw out filler gauge along with horizontal direction. Put rocker arm cover gasket on cylinder head and cover rocker arm covers for cylinders. Install fuel pump bracket at its corresponding position of the engine body. Coupling. Clean air compressor shaft with cleaning agent and wipe up with white cloth. Insert expansion gear at opening of coupling to expand hole opening and install it into air compressor shaft to make big lock nut of coupling upwards and then pull out the expansion gear. Rotate flywheel to OT mark. At this time, intake and exhaust valves of six cylinder are under connection condition where the exhaust valve rises and intake valve falls. Namely, top dead center where first cylinder works. Rotate flywheel and observe the correct angle of advance. And the fuel supply advance angle is 10 plus or minus 1 degrees. Fuel pump. Install fuel injection pump at fuel pump bracket in a loose manner and pre-screw four fastening bolts, flat gasket plus self-lock gasket. Take two connecting bolts plus bush plus spring washer and apply 271 glue on thread. Fasten two connecting bolts by torque wrench and ring spanner. Torque requirement of connecting bolt, Euro 2 engine, corrected value is 160 newton meter and torque range 150 to 170 newton meter. Screw out locking bolt for coupling at angle adjusting plate. Apply 242 thread glue on hexagon flange bolt thread and screw them into original screw holes. Correct scribed line of fuel injection pump flange for alignment. Pre-screw bolts and screw up them by torque wrench again. Torque requirement of locking bolt. Corrected value is 150 new tone meter and torque range is 130 to 165 newton meter. Screw up four fastening bolts for fuel injection pump evenly by a diagonal way with torque M10, 45 plus or minus 5 newton meter and M8, 25 newton meter, 22 to 29 newton meter. Injector. Put copper washers into injector hole of cylinder head in order to note that inspect whether copper washers are installed correctly. Take off protected cover at head of injector, inspect whether there is foreign matter at head of injector, and then put injectors into injector holes of cylinder head if there is no foreign matter. Screw up the big end of fuel return pipe of injector to the fuel injection pump by bolts covered with composite gasket. Install injectors into injector holes of cylinder head and knock them in place by wrapper. Put six subassembled pressing plates on injector and loosely tighten two fastening bolts for pressing plates in order. Pre-tighten two fastening bolts for pressing plates evenly by a diagonal way. Screw up bolts for pressing plates again by torque wrench with corrected value of 27 newton meter and torque range of 25 to 30 newton meter.
Water pump. Inspect junction surface of water pump and gear chamber and install water pump sealing gasket after conforming there is no foreign matter or oil stain. Inspect whether seal ring of oil gas separator is intact with no damage and install connection hose of oil gas separator pre-cover two clamps. Install outlet hose for air compressor pre-cover two clamps. Apply appropriate 242 glue on thread of grease charging device and then fasten it on water pump with torque 25 newton meter 22 to 29 newton meter. Install water pump aligning with the studs of water pump. Install air conditioner bracket. Pre-install six wave washer and M8 nuts at studs of water pump and pre-install two hexagonal head bolts in screw hole of air conditioner bracket and firstly screw up two hexagonal head bolts. Fix supporting plate of grease charging device on water pump at top of gear chamber. Put gasket on junction surface of water pipe connector. Install water pipe connector, screw up fixed bolt of water pipe connector, and screw up the remaining four fixed nuts of M8 for water pump, two hexagonal head bolts for air conditioner bracket, and cover outlet hose of air compressor on water pipe connector assembly. Screw up clamps at two ends of outlet hose of air compressor and screw up fixed nuts for water pump again. Tightening torque of bolts for grease charging device is 25 Newton meters. Water pump nuts quantity 6. Air conditioner bracket bolts quantity 2. Alternator. Adjust the bracket and install alternator bracket and install alternator. Install vibration damper and pulley into crankshaft by 8 bolts of M10 by 70 dipped with engine oil. Screw up bolts with torque of 65 newton meter. It is prohibited to use diesel engine when there is no vibration damper or the vibration damper fails. Otherwise, it will quicken wearing of timing gear and even cause fatigue fracture of crankshaft. Install tensioner and screw up bolts for tensioner. Install fan belt and tension fan belt to the specified tension force by crowbar. Install alternator belt, adjust draw in bolts of alternator to adjust tightness of the alternator belt and secure nuts for alternator. Install starter on flywheel housing and screw in three fixed nuts and secure them. High pressure pipe. Take high pressure pipe assembly and pre-tighten two ends of the assembly on injector and fuel injection pump. Screw up nuts at two ends of high pressure pipe in order by torque wrench with tightening torque of 40 newton meter and torque range of 40 to 45 newton meter. Fix fuel return pipe of injector on high pressure pipe with fastening belt. Water outlet pipe. Inspect whether water outlet pipe gasket is intact with no damage and install water outlet pipe gasket. Install water outlet pipe and pre-tighten 12 fixed flanged head nuts for water outlet pipe and fix pipe clamp on 1st, 2nd, 4th and 5th cylinders of outlet pipe. Screw up fixed bolts of water outlet pipe. Inspect whether thermostat gasket is intact with no damage. Install thermostat gasket and cover inlet pipe end of thermostat on connecting elbow 
and install thermostat. Air intake pipe. Take subassembled air intake pipe and make its ends flat and cling to cylinder head face. Screw up fastening bolts, plug bolts, cantilever assembly bolts, cover plate bolts for air intake pipe, and fixed bolts for air pipe on air intake pipe, and at end of fuel injection pump. Six fastening bolts for air intake pipe, specification M8 by 80, tightening torque 25 to 30 newton meter. Two fastening bolts for air intake pipe, specification M8 by 20, tightening torque 25 to 30 newton meter. Four fastening bolts for air intake pipe, specification M8 by 149, tightening torque 25 to 30 newton meter. One plug bolt for air intake pipe, specification M10 by 6, tightening torque 25 to 30 newton meter. Diesel filter. Pre-tighten fuel pipes on fuel primary filter seat and fuel fine filter seat by hollow bolts covered with composite washer, respectively. Loosely install sub-assembled fuel filter on bracket and pre-tighten four fastening bolts with flat gasket. Loosely install fuel pipe and lubricating oil return pipe on fuel pump. Fasten fuel pipe flatly by fastening belt and fasten the fastening belt on protective sleeve and cut it short. Screw up fixed bolts on fuel filter sate with torque of 50 newton meter, 40 to 60 newton meter. Install high pressure pump lubricating pipe and high pressure pump fuel return pipe. Oil cooler. Polish two oil inlet outlet port planes on the engine body joined with oil cooler core by oil stone, clean them up and wipe up with cloth. Install two seal rings with few lithium based grease on the position of engine body where oil cooler is installed. Insert two guide rods diagonally. Install oil cooler core, two oil duct hole plugs of which are pulled out on the engine body. Put washers on four hexagon head bolts by pre-applied with glue and tighten them diagonally with torque of 25 newton meter, 22 to 29 newton meter. Install cooler cover gasket by guide rod. Oil cooler cover. Inspect whether the cooler cover is complete and loosely screw M14 bolt at sub-assembled cooler cover drain port for two to three threads on the cooler cover. Smoothly install cooler cover on the engine body through guide rod and pre-screw bolts with hands. Take out process bolts, re-screw two bolts and fasten bolts on cooler cover with torque 22 to 29 newton meter. Tightening sequence. First, screw up two bolts symmetrically in the middle and then screw up them clockwise and finally screw up two bolts in the middle again. Cooler cover bolt specification M8 by 35. Tightening torque 22 to 29 newton meter. Cooler cover bolt specification M8 by 20. Tightening torque 22 to 29 newton meter. Cooler cover bolt specification M8 by 75. Tightening torque 22 to 29 newton meter. Cooler cover bolt specification M14 by 10. Tightening torque 22 to 29 newton meter. Cooler cover bolt specification M8 by 40. Tightening torque 22 to 29 newton meter. Cooler cover bolt 
specification M8 by 80, tightening torque 22 to 29 newton meter. Exhaust pipe. Take seal rings. Quantity of seal ring is subject to basic type requirement or engine model requirement and install them in the seal groove of the front exhaust manifold. Opening interval of two rings in the same groove is 180 degrees and opening interval of rings in adjacent grooves is 90 degrees. Install exhaust pipe gasket and exhaust pipe by guide rod. Take fastening bolts of exhaust pipe Apply appropriate molybdenum disulfide powder on thread and screw them into exhaust pipe and secure them. Exhaust pipe fastening bolt, tightening torque 50 to 70 newton meter. Exhaust pipe stud, tightening torque 25 newton meter. Turbocharger. Insert oil return pipe of turbocharger into oil return hose of the engine body. Hold the turbocharger. Screw in one fixed nut and three fixed bolts and secure them. Add a few clean engine oil in oil inlet of the turbocharger. Inspect whether oil inlet pipe gasket of the turbocharger is intact with no damage. Install gasket and oil inlet pipe of the turbocharger and secure it. Install a heat shield on exhaust pipe and screw in fastening bolts with torque of 20 newton meter. Fastening bolt of oil return pipe of the turbocharger. 22 to 29 newton meter. Fastening bolt for oil inlet pipe of the turbocharger 22 to 29 newton meter nut for oil inlet pipe of the turbocharger 50 newton meter oil filter polish two planes joined by oil filter and the engine body by oil stone and wipe up them evenly apply 5900 plane sealant and apply 242 thread sealant on four bolts of oil filter assembly, install and screw up them. Install oil dipstick assembly and screw up fixed bolts for oil dipstick. Oil filter fastening bolt, tightening torque 25 newton meter. Oil dipstick fixed bolt, tightening torque 25 newton meter. Fan. Pre-install the fan on water pump with six fixed bolts of M8 by 20 and secure the bolts with tightening torque of 22 to 29 newton meter.